Should I go out like this? Hi everyone, today I'm going to do somewhat of a review, share with you my thoughts, and kind of like a swatch video on the NARS, wait, it's the NARS Narcissist Unfiltered One Cheek Palette. Do that. So I'm just going to swatch these shades on my cheeks and hopefully you guys like that. If not, I'll never do it again. <laughs> So let me know. I just got out the shower. So let me add some like base to my skin. So I'm gonna mix the uh, moisturizer and my Kogan Doe foundation. So let me just add this concoction I made. I need a mirror. You know what? This comes with a mirror. It's pretty big. But I don't use it. Oh forgot a spot. Maybe I'll dust a little bit of powder so the product doesn't go on, I don't know, patchy or streaky. I just want it to be smooth. Ooh, I really like this powder. I have a review actually, I just haven't had the time to edit yet. Well, no, I lied. I, I, did, I, I do have time, but I just haven't. So the shades are oriented this way. So you would think the name would correspond to the shade, but no, you actually have to flip it upside down. I don't know, it's pretty confusing. This shade right here is called Watch Me. This is not a blush. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna literally just go like this. Show you the shade. Ugh, I wanna get closer, I can't help it. So just like this. What the heck? I almost feel like it has some like lime green undertone to it and it kind of makes me look sick. So I don't like it that much. Next shade is Me First. It's very orange. It's more orange than I thought actually. So let's put that underneath. Hmm pretty orange, very pigmented. These are all very pigmented. Has a little bit of a satinness going on, but it's not shimmery like this. Next shade is Take Over. This also has a similar satin-like finish to me. It's kind of bronzy. You know what? This would make a really pretty eyeshadow, I think. So again, we have Watch Me. Me first and take over. Okay, next shade is going to be out there. What? This is really pretty though. Next shade we're gonna put on Chic. These two shades are actually pretty similar. Okay. I look crazy. It's not crazy, it looks so much darker on my skin. Next shade is my favorite, is Exhibit A. Exhibit A. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is stunning. Oh my goodness. Wow. It looks like a lipstick for my face. This is out there, like me. This is chic and exhibit A. I think that these bottom shades are a lot more smoother to the touch, but on the when applied to the skin, they both apply really nicely. Very even, I think, um, at least with my fingers and from experience, it works well with a blush or like a blush brush as well. Um, but be careful with these like darker shades. You want to be very light-handed or it's going to look very heavy on your skin. Um, this highlight shade I'm not a fan of, but I can see myself mixing it with maybe Exhibit A or any of these other shades or other blushes that I own. It does last all day. All day. If even this highlight, this will last all day. Even though I didn't want it to, it did. Great blushes. I'm really glad to finally try out NARS blushes. Um, am I gonna get the unfiltered too? I don't know. The shades in there look, they all look very similar. 
and this I thought was extremely extremely versatile because you have like a mauve a plummy shade a red and like a bronzy color orange and then a highlight I mean this is amazing. I think this would be perfect for a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup artist. I just collect makeup. <laughs> if I had to choose, like I as I did, I went with the unfiltered one. Now, if you want to choose between NARS and Hourglass, in my opinion, I would still get this. There's actually less product in it than the 2014, and it's $4 more expensive. So, I don't know. I, that kind of annoys me. This is very like shimmery, a lot more shimmery than expected. This is very wearable. I mean, not like this. If you're wondering why I'm like in in a freaking spaghetti shop, it's because I'm in Texas. Oh god, my hair is crazy. Okay, I am a hot mess. I look like a hot mess. I need to go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just make sure to comment below and um, I don't know. Oh yeah, let me know if you like this type of swatch video. It's a little crazy, but I liked it. So um, if you don't, it's okay. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. I don't have feelings. So, hey, I hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. Happy New Year's, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.